guys, how you doing? Trekker G here again. Hey, uh, today I, I kind of want to talk about attitude. I mean, not just attitude in life in general, but attitude in trucking. I mean, I can't I can't stress how how important it is. I mean, I see so many videos and hear so many guys at the truck stops, and they've all got them stories, you know, that they do this or they would do that, and you know. I'm not happy with my company. Well, I take that truck over to the house and I just drop it there in Atlanta, Georgia, and I tell them to come get it. Yeah, right, buddy. You do that and find out how quick your your trucking career is over. It's not the old days, guys. I mean, if they if they did that at one point in time, it was back before the internet and back before DAC reporting. Nowadays, that ain't gonna happen. It just ain't unless you just want your career to be over with. Uh, your attitude will either make you or break you in this industry. I mean, with your fleet manager. Yeah, we, we all have those fleet managers that, you know, some of, them are, some of them are good and some of them, they just don't understand, right? <laughs> trying to be trying to be nice about it. But uh, yeah, maybe they're not running you like, like you want to be ran or, or giving you loads that just don't make sense. We've all had it. But instead of calling that, that fleet manager and cussing him out, there's ways to go about it without being rude and to be professional, should I say. I mean, you can cuss that fleet manager all you want, but once you deliver that load and it comes to getting the next, who do you think he's going to give that load to? You, you, the guy that just cussed him out or the other guy that's just as nice as he can be to him? I know who I'd give it to. We're all humans, you know, and it's just human nature to hold a little bit of a grudge sometimes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure it makes sense to you. Think about, basically put yourself in that dispatcher's shoes, you know. Like I said, your attitude's going to make or break you. I can get the same point across to that fleet manager without being rude about it, but being blunt, you know. Uh, just by telling them, you know, you didn't run me enough, enough miles this week. I'm going to the house, right? What good's that going to do you? You're not going to make no more money that way. But you could just tell the fleet manager, hey, look, I only made 800 miles this week. There's no way I can make it off of that. I said I brought home a $200 check, and I can't live off of it. I just as well as be at the house flipping burgers. So we're either going to have to do something to remedy this, or... I'm going to have to look for other options. By no means is this an ultimatum, but I'm just telling you where I stand. See the difference in that? I mean, I basically said the same thing that another driver would would, would have said rudely, but I got my point across. It's just how you present yourself, you know? You don't have to be a jerk about things. When you're going to a shipper and receiver, uh, going in there and throwing a fit because they didn't get you a door right away or didn't get unloaded at the time you want. Yeah, it makes me mad too. But going in there and yelling at them and tell them, I'll drop this load right in the right in the parking lot if you don't take it. It ain't gonna get you unloaded any faster. It really isn't. I've never ever seen a guy drop a load right in the center of the, uh, of the parking lot and just take off. If he did, I guarantee nowadays, he wouldn't be trucking no more. And if it happened back in the old days, I guarantee he wouldn't be trucking anymore either. If he's an owner-operator, then he probably owned the trailer. Why would you drop your own trailer off? And if he worked for somebody, would you keep somebody around that just dropped your equipment? So don't listen to half the stories these guys tell you, and and they're trying to be Billy Bad. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cuss. Well, you know what I mean, Billy Big Rigger. Let's put it that way. Uh, stop trying to have the attitude of some of these guys with with bad attitudes. And uphold yourself in a more professional professional way. I mean, think if you were the owner of the company and speak to that dispatcher as if you would want your employees to speak to you. It's a, it's a simple thing in life, you know, doing to others. It's that simple, guys. Stop listening to the old time stories of these guys with bad attitudes. I mean, I can go round and round. It's basically the same simple lesson. Watch your wording. If you're mad, think about what you're going to say before you say it. And if you have
have to think too hard, don't say it at all. You guys be safe out there. I appreciate you watching.